this is Tomoko Iwakao, and welcome to Global Perspectives. The U.S. dollar fell again to a three-year low this week. And the weak dollar is truly a conundrum. It comes in the midst of a strong economic recovery further aided by tax cuts, record high stock prices, rising U.S. Treasury yields, and three Fed rate hikes penciled in by the, the end of this year. Truly, the rest of the world is coming out of their lowest state, but we were still wondering who would be selling the dollar so aggressively. The market chat is that, given the strong rhetoric of America first by our president from the beginning of this year, foreign central banks and investors have decided to diversify out of their U.S. dollar holdings into other hard currencies, such as the Swiss franc, the euro, and the yen. The amount of FX reserves held by central banks around the world will easily exceed that of the largest financial institution or any hedge fund in the world. And therefore, if they decide that they want to diversify out, it would certainly have a material impact on the dollar, meaning that it would weaken it. It's certainly a reminder also that they are also funding a, cent a budget deficit. Foreign central banks, being the creditors, if they decide that they don't want to fund the U.S. government deficit anymore, they could easily sell the dollar and Treasury uh, holdings, resulting in Treasury yields rising up. Just recently, China reminded us that they would do so. But all in all, what does this mean for the U.S. economy? Is it good or better? Or how about the global economy? Which leads to my view. While the dollar selling may have started uh, based on some disapproval ratings towards the strong verbiage coming from our president of some protectionist policies. The reality is that a weak dollar actually helps the U.S. economy. It certainly helps the Trump's um, trade policies because it supports U.S. exporters. Not only that, it might help the Fed achieve its much-desired 2 percent inflation target sooner than later, which might result in the Fed raising rates faster than we originally thought. That being said, if this leads to a free fall of the dollar and a spike in U.S. Treasury yields, that would be detrimental not only for the U.S., but for the rest of the world. First, our future budget deficit will be more expensive to fund because of higher interest rates. This comes at a bad timing because our future budget deficit has increased further with the tax cuts. Secondly, other major nations are primarily exporting nations. Therefore, a sudden surge of their currencies will result in a deterioration of their terms of trade. And thirdly, a sudden surge of their currencies will also uh, not help their already fragile deflationary uh, state of economy. All in all, central bankers believe in free market principles. That being said, the current market is so counterintuitive to economics, such that we are watching very carefully for any unintended consequences. Thank you very much, and be sure you subscribe to our newsletters at cnb.com forward slash subscribe. Have a great day.